Tesla has just refreshed the Model 3. Some of us have been falling for months as Project Highland, and it's finally here. There's a refreshed front design with the headlights. Some people say it looks more like a Model S or Roadster right now. And there's also a new rear design, slightly updated where the rear lights follow the trunk as the trunk goes up. Inside the car is where we see bigger changes. The steering wheel no longer has stalks, like the new refreshed Model S and X. So the turn signals are in the left side of the steering wheel, and the autopilot controls on the right side of the steering wheel. The horn is in the middle. So this is something that some of us well have to get used to, but if you've got to try a Model S and X before in the US, you know what it's like. Thankfully, it's still a wheel and it's not a yoke. Other changes would be the front touchscreen. It is now brighter and more responsive. And there's a new rear passenger touchscreen, which allows the rear passengers to change the climate controls and play media. That's really cool. So that's trickling down from the Model S and X, which were premium features. On top of that, there are now LED ambient lights. Many owners love it, especially at night. It adds character and flavor to the car, and Tesla finally brought it in. We will also see better noise isolation. There's 20% reduction in road noise, almost 30% reduction in wind noise. And overall, you'll see you also have better suspension in the car because Tesla's upgraded the suspension. So Tesla's in the past have been known for a rougher ride, a more sporty ride. And right now, getting closer to comfort. For us in tropical countries like Southeast Asia, there's one big win that we get, which is front ventilated seats. So in the past, your Teslas could actually warm you up, which is not very helpful in our sunny weather. But today, the front passenger and front driver seats can have cooling. That means you get to air yourself, have a more enjoyable ride, even on sunny road trips. So this has been a very exciting update. Beyond all the updates that we've seen here, the sound system has also improved. Tesla has a good reputation for audio quality, and right now they increase the number of speakers from 14 to 17 speakers. So it's going to sound even better. The bass is going to be deeper and richer. On top of what we see, obviously, as changes, outside the cameras will be improved. We're getting hardware 4, which means that the cameras are going from 1.2 to 5 megapixels. They are sharper. The cameras are also slightly wider. And some report that the refreshed Model 3 now has a front bumper camera, which possibly gives us, for the first time, a full 360 degree view on the Tesla. So we're looking forward to find out more. Now, how can we pre-order this car? In Malaysia, pre-orders for the refreshed Model 3 has opened, starting at 189,000 ringgit or 41,000 US dollars, a pretty compelling price. And I heard that pre-orders are already picking up quite quickly in Malaysia. Deliveries will start by late 2023. We do not yet have pre-orders for the refreshed Model 3 in Singapore and Thailand. Now, my hypothesis is because Malaysia is only getting it end of this year, Tesla may want to hold it for a while. Otherwise, they may not have Model 3 shipments for three to four months. So hopefully, within two to three months, we get the new pre-orders for the refreshed Model 3 in Singapore and Thailand. Now, what does this mean for the Model Y? Because the Model Y is the world's top selling car and the, the Model 3 and Model Y used to share 70% similar parts. I believe that it's a matter of when and not if that we also see a Model Y refresh, probably sooner rather than later. Tesla believes in manufacturing efficiency. It wouldn't make sense for the Model Y to have the old steering wheel, the old touchscreen, while the Model 3 is a separate line. So they would want to merge both together for manufacturing efficiency and scale. So whether it comes to the stockless steering wheel, the brighter screens, the rear touchscreen, the new air vent 2.0, the better cameras, I hope by summer next year, we will also see a refresh in Model Y. Some of us are following this as Project Juniper. How many of you are pre-ordering the Model 3? or you're excited to wait for a refreshed Model Y, let me know down in the comments. My one wish and many owners to ask is, Tesla, please give us in the future an auto frunk. They will make life a lot easier for owners, especially for those of us in Southeast Asia, where we tend to reverse park. So the frunk is a great place to store food, store a backpack, store a gym pack, our laptop. I hope they will come in the future. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.